All right, so Deja, I'm going to have to interrupt your teaching session just for a second. Uh, let's just go over this. So I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Um, so basically what we're going to do for this problem, ladies and gentlemen, when I say try, I mean just try something. It says multipl multiplication. One thing we talked about in this class is when you're multiplying radical expressions, you can just multiply the numbers inside the radicand. It doesn't matter. So can we multiply 32 times 2? Yeah. It's going to give you 64. Mm. x to the fourth times x is x to the fifth. y times y to the third is y to the fourth. Now, you could have simplified these rational expressions separately. You got what? Oh, you simplified them first? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll show it that way. I'll check your answer. Um, but yeah, a lot of times what I told you guys to do is a lot of times simplify before you multiply. A lot of times it's easier. But what I noticed automatically was, well, if I do 32 times 2, that's 64. And 64 is a square number. So in this case, it was easier for me to multiply and then simplify. So do we know the square root of 64? 8. And can I simplify? I can't take the square root of, of x to the fifth, but I can take the square root of x squared, right? Correct? So therefore, I could rewrite this as square root of x squared times x squared times x. And this would be y squared times y squared. So therefore, I can take the square root of all these squares. So therefore, it's 8 times x. So the square root of x squared is x. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of y squared is y. Square root of y squared is y. And then I still have this x under there. So my final answer is 8x squared y squared times the square root of x. Done. Fine. Did you get that same answer, Jacob?